Ladies and gentlemen, we have an airdrop that could make us hundreds or even thousands of dollars, and it is completely free. It only requires a short amount of time and patience. So welcome back again. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team. And in this video, I will show you how to qualify for the fuel airdrop step by step. And I will provide all the necessary links and I'm one message away via Twitter if you need anything. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. Purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. And be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems for daily crypto content. And check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles, and everything crypto related. Well, guys, let's jump straight into the video. Now, we're officially on the Fuel website, which is fuel.network. And Fuel is a layer one blockchain that we'll be taking advantage of. We're expecting a huge airdrop from this, guys, with the Fuel token, obviously. So what we'll be doing is we'll be installing a Fuel wallet. We'll be completing quests that have been officially delegated by the Fuel team on the layer three website. So why don't we start off by setting up a Fuel wallet, which is the most important step. Now, if we go over to wallet.fuel.network, which I'll leave this link in the description below, we're going to be installing the Fuel wallet onto the Google Chrome browser. And it's also supported on Edge and also Brave. We also have a Brave tutorial if you want to check that out. If you don't, then you can carry on with using Google Chrome or your supported browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to be clicking this button where it says Install Fuel Wallet, either here or on the top right corner. So we're going to click Install, and it's going to take us over to a new web page called the Google Chrome Store, which is where you will find all the applications on the Google Chrome Store, obviously. Now we're going to Add to Chrome, Add Extension. Guys, there's only 90,000 users, by the way, so there's a lot less than it is with other wallets such as MetaMask, Phantom Wallet, and so on. And there's obviously a good chance of getting a airdrop and a quite big one so we're going to create a new wallet as we haven't got a seed phrase for a fuel wallet now obviously we're going to start scratch so we create a new wallet you have to agree to the terms and conditions so make sure you read it and understand it now after this we're going to be setting up a seed phrase and once you get to your seed phrase guys you're going to want to write down all 12 words this is the most important part and something that you cannot skip or cannot try and fast forward. So when it comes to this part, you need to write down all 12 words on a piece of paper or a still sheet, not on any computer or any electronic device as your wallet can get compromised. Anything that is stored online is not safe. So please, please, please write it down on a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what wallet you're using. If they have access to your 12 words, then they have access to your wallet, which means they have access to all of your funds and it is not yours. So really 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 make sure that you've got this part safe and you're following all the precautionary measures to write down all of these words on a piece of paper store it safely and then we can carry on so make sure you've written it down because you'll need to have it down so you can continue with the next step like i said get your pen write it down and we'll carry on in a second then once you've done that then obviously click the i have written down my seed phrase on a piece of paper button so well done fuel wallet for confirming that most wallets when you come to setting it up it says i have secured my seed phrase which it needs to specify on a piece of paper because let's face it, a lot of people write it down on their computer. Next thing you know, their wallet gets compromised and they are upset. So click confirm phrase and then you have to write down all of your phrases. You never want to have this paste button here, guys. I don't know why that's even here. We don't want to be copying it to clipboard at all as like I said, you don't want any of your seed phrase stored online. And then once you've written down all 12 words, you need to click next your password. And usually guys, it asks you to fill out a few words, not just all 12. However, in this case, we had to write down all 12 and then put in all 12 into the confirmation so now we're going to go over to our password create a nice strong password guys it's not as important as the seed phrase but just make sure you've got a strong password that you'll remember so as you can see we've got a strong password we've got three out of three bars so it means a fully strong password and we're going to click next finish setup so from here guys it says wallet created successfully absolutely amazing now all we have to do is go up into the little extension tabs up the top scroll down and you'll see the fuel wallet and you just click the pin and now it pops up at the top and we can officially use our account so obviously Obviously, we are on the test net as you can see we are not on the main net yet so we cannot use real tokens there is nothing going to be of real monetary value all test net tokens so there'll be no cost whatsoever this is a completely free airdrop as of now until the main net is released obviously we'll be using the test net so we haven't got any test net tokens here so we need to head over to the full set where we can get some free test net tokens now this is going to be the next step so we click this little full set button over here and take us over to a new link and it's going to ask for your fuel wallet address so if you go up into your fuel wallet you can confirm that this is your wallet it says fuel with the last four characters ec5x and we can confirm that over here ec5x with the fuel bit at the top 
Now, this is a test Ether full set running on the test fuel network. This full set sends fake Ether assets to the provided wallet address. And this is just a reminder that these tokens are not real. They hold no real monetary value. They are just test net tokens. So click, I'm not a robot, give me Ether, and then we can continue to use the network. So if we check our wallet, we now have 0.5 Ethereum in the fuel network. So from here, we can close this page. And we've got our wallet set up. And what I want to briefly do is, guys, I want to go over to Layer 3, a quest platform, which is absolutely fantastic. And I highly recommend everyone use. And as you can see, Fuel has their very own community within the Layer 3 platform. They only have one active quest so far. And I'm sure they'll be adding more as the network progresses. However, as the network is very new, there's only a few things that we can do. And obviously, that is to bridge to the Fuel testnet. We're going to complete this task. It's very easy. Difficulty for beginners. All it says is bridge to Fuel's testnet and execution layer for modular blockchains. So, introduction to Fuel. Fuel is an execution layer for the modular blockchain stack. It aims to deliver maximum security in the highest flexible throughput for decentralized applications. Bridge to Fuel. Bridge from Sepolia to Fuel's Beta 4 testnet. You'll need to install a Fuel wallet to complete the bridging. Now, obviously we've already used the full set, but that does not mean that we've used the bridge. Sepolia is the Ethereum Sepolia network, which is a test network for Ethereum. And what we'll be having to do is get testnet tokens from the Sepolia network and then bridge those over to the Fuel wallet. So we're gonna open up the Fuel bridge firstly. And as you can see, it's asking us to connect our Ethereum wallet, which is not our Fuel wallet. We're going to have to connect our MetaMask wallet separately. So if you wanna use a Fano wallet, then by all means do so. But I'm going to be using my main wallet because I am going to be trusting this website for now. So I'm going to switch over to Sepolia. And I already have Ethereum in my Sepolia wallet, but for those who don't, we're going to get some testnet tokens so we can show you how to do so. Now, in my MetaMask wallet, we'll see that I've got 0.8282 Sepolia Ethereum, which is quite a bit. But to get more, there's a couple ways of doing so. And these are my favorite ways. QuickNode is simply just a platform where it allows you to get testnet tokens from multiple networks. And honestly, guys, it is the best one by far. If you check it out, we've got Ethereum, Polygon, BNB, Chain, Optimism, Arbitrum, Avalanche, Solana, Base, and Scroll, all of which you can get their testnet tokens. You can choose between Gurley, Sepolia, and Holsky Ethereum tokens. As you know, we need the Sepolia testnet tokens. So we click continue. As you can see, it says share a tweet to get a two times bonus either 0.1 ETH or 0.05, which I'm going to click 0.05 as I don't really need to tweet about it. So that's that if you want to use the quick node website and I'll send the link in the description below. The other protocol that I like to use, which gives you more Sepolia Ethereum is Alchemy. And all you do is log into Alchemy, make sure you've got an account. From here, all you have to do is enter your wallet address up the top. So you click copy, paste, I'm not a robot, send me ETH. And as you can see, we're going to get 0.5 Sepolia ETH, which is a lot. It won't take long to enter your wallet, so don't worry. Just be patient and it will enter your wallet as soon as it does. Now go back to the bridge. And that's obviously after you've got your Sepolia ETH tokens. If you don't, then we're obviously going to have to wait. Now we're on the bridge. We're going to be bridging from Sepolia to Fuel Beta 4. We've got 0.828 ETH and I'm going to be bridging over 0.54 ETH. So connect to Fuel Wallet. Yes, I trust the Fuel Bridge. Cannot view your private keys. Most important thing to understand. And then we just click connect. From here, we just click deposit, confirm it. And then from here, guys, we just have to wait. It might take a few minutes, so we'll have to wait and see. However, like I said at the beginning of the video, you just need some patience and some time and you will be getting the Fuel airdrop. Now, if we go back to layer three, once it's verified the transaction, it should know that we've officially initiated the bridge. And if we click verify, it should work just like so. Bingo. Then you can optionally repost the announcement that they've got. So if you opened up X, you can choose to retweet and like this post, but you don't actually have to. If you go back, click verify, you'll see that it works just like so. We can continue. We get some XP. And then from there, we've done the fuel quest. We just have to wait for more, keep an eye on the fuel community, and eventually we'll be able to complete some more tasks. Now it's got a community rank of 98, which is not too bad. 25,000 people have completed the quest. It's a very easy quest, so obviously a lot of people are going to do it. Hundreds of thousands of people use the Layer 3 platform, guys, just for your perspective. 90,000 people have downloaded the Fuel Wallet, while only 25,000 of those users have completed this quest. Now, the less people that complete the quest, maybe there are higher odds of we're going to get the airdrop and the more tokens we're going to get. So obviously, it's just as good as that. Now, coming back to the bridge, we can see that we've finished the transaction. It only took two minutes to complete, which is absolutely superb. And I have a lot of faith in the fuel network so far. 
I like quick and secure networks. And so far, this is actually very good. Now, as you can see at the top right corner, we can see ecosystem. And by scrolling down, you can use, you can obviously use some of these decentralized applications, depending on which ones you like, you can just go through a few of them, obviously try and pick out some safe ones. We don't know which ones are safe, obviously, as we are very new to the network. However, I'm going to be just checking out a few different protocols. Maybe I might start with Elix Finance. As you can see here, the site cannot be reached. Maybe it isn't out yet. We can see that obviously a lot of people are building on the fuel network, which is a great sign a lot of protocols which i obviously haven't seen before in fact i've never seen any of these let's try the rusket exchange see if we can swap some tokens nope it's taking us over to github so obviously nothing is live at the moment the guys is to go over to swaylen.com which i'll leave this link in the description below and all you want to do is use the full set so you can claim some of these free tokens and like i said these are all testnet tokens they hold no real monetary value you just have to connect your wallet click fuel wallet next and then claim all of these testnet tokens now it is as simple as clicking mint give me ether confirm you're not a robot and off you go go back do the same thing with bitcoin add assets make sure you're aware of the situation click approve same with usdc add assets confirm before approving same with the uni token confirm once again and then you just do the same with the others as you can see where i'm going with this and guys going back to the ecosystem i found one protocol that we can use we can use the thunder nft marketplace which as you may know is a marketplace for nfts where we can buy sell and swap nfts on the fuel network so go to marketplace as you can see there's a variety of different nfts to choose from we want to choose an nft with a low floor price obviously one we can afford there isn't one and obviously you can't get any however if we go to collections we try and find something to buy so if we just choose beans for example we can see that it's all like 85 ETH and stuff like that. If you haven't got any ETH like that, guys, then obviously we can't buy any. Even these fuel at keys are two ETH, testnet ETH anyway. So we've got 1.5 ETH. We'll have to wait a few days so we can get it. We just need to claim some more testnet tokens and then we'll be able to get an NFT. So once you have enough testnet tokens, then by all means, use the Thunder NFT marketplace to mint an NFT. You don't have to. Use the Sway Lend, check out the ecosystem, download the wallet, use the bridge. Don't forget to complete the layer three quests. And then obviously once you've done the fuel airdrop, you're going to head over to YouTube where you can find other airdrops to participate in. We've got huge airdrops such as Zeta Chain, ZK Sync, Metamask, Syndicate, Cashmere Labs, Five Eye, OPBNB, Scroll, Zeta Chain, like I said, Zerion, Polyhedra, Starknet, Dmail, Holograph, and so many other crypto airdrops that you would not want to miss. If you want to join us on this amazing journey, then by all means, subscribe to our youtube channel turn on those notification bells because we are always updating our youtube channel with more crypto airdrops and all kinds of crypto content that you don't want to miss and guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever or you can hit me up on twitter hi crypto guy don't forget to follow Jules at Alt Crypto Gems and follow the Alt Crypto Talk community on both Twitter and Discord. And guys, one more thing, we have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time DGENs.